Hello guys and welcome back. So let's talk about the care room now. I was impressed by Chloe's <clears throat> room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but I, uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? <laughs> By the way, the uh, last name of the family is Price, so if you did not get it, then I just explained why. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Crazy weather, Prescott family, Rachel Amber. Let's talk about Rachel. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Ah, oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. Let's figure out some more about the Prescott family. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. <laughs> Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. Crazy weather. So Joyce doesn't have her own diner anymore? It's now owned by the Prescotts? What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. <laughs> Victoria is sending us some messages. So, uh, let's say go through all of the messages. Max, you're busy girl. Avoiding homework as usual. I told you I'd help you out. You never le uh, let help me. Okay, drama, stop. <laughs> and you help me by caring. I did try. By the way, I scored that killer butt from you. Know who for your information. Save me a bowl. Got a bounce. Talk to you later. Come by my room tonight. Max, are we cool? Just wanted to make sure since you walked away so fast. Nathan was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me up, okay? Love you. Holy shit, this sentence, this sentence from Victoria was like totally awkward. Max, if you're mad, just tell me, okay? Silence. So if you want to talk, my door is open. Love you. That's... That's so wrong. This insurance is worthless. So... Liars, mail... They're drowning in debt. Just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Your joint account has been closed and is now six month overdue. Please send a check or money order for $3,458 payable to Happy Credit Card. Holy shit. Um, Acadia Bay physically rehabilit uh, rehabilitation. I hope I pronounce that properly. Um, due to recent state and federal cuts, we regret to inform you that your health insurance no longer covers Chloe's- Oh my god. Physical rehab. We can reinstate Chloe at a standard rate of 1250 per week. Just think about it, who is able to pay that f Holy moly. So what kind of flyer, flyers do we have here? Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Uh, holy shit, they just have to sell like everything.
So this was her room, right? Uh, completely different style. I was about to say, okay, completely different styles, but yeah. There's like nothing in here anymore. So, some crutches. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Too bad Never. Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Dear Joyce, thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I'm so sorry that I can't help you with a, lo with a loan at this time. Like everybody else, I'm underwater with my own medical bills. Please give Chloe a hug and my best wishes. Love, Aunt Dorothy. Toys? Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Then do that? But doesn't give me the option. Shoes. Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Another letter? I never heard much about William's brother. Hi Bill, sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up and I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. You have to go where the work is these days. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce from me. Hang in there, Billy. Your brother, Aaron. Really? I can sit down here? I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then yeah. I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? I'm, I was thinking the same thing, so what is better? Having this, so yeah being disabled but having a father or not having a father and yeah I don't I don't really know I guess we stopped growing up together hmm it's really At least quite hard we never had to hide from step douche <laughs> yeah a blue butterfly I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Mm hmm. So, I need to go somewhere where we get the medics medicine. Over here? Medicine cabinet? No? Can you turn on the light? Ah, there we go. Now I can. Search through these. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Yeah. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Nothing here. Except for some more pills. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. I don't know what's cool about it, but okay. Um, let's switch off the light. So, a picture. It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? It looks like it's the same picture. Is Joy's there. Yeah, she oh, is actually. Max, it is so nice to have you around. A letter? Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. As we discussed, uh, so uh, the dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, as we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. This accounts for her recent anem anemia, is that right? And loss of breath. 
As a doctor, I am committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand the reality that respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Severe? I think it's severe. I hope I pronounce that right. Um, your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had. Uh, I think they're always saying that. It's like, ah, uh, your daughter, your brother, your father is the best and strongest and bravest and blah 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 patients I ever had. I don't know. Um, and I am proud to be working with her. I just want you as parents to prepare for any and all possibilities. So yeah, this is preparing that she might die. I believe Chloe should also be made aware of her changing condition. If you would like to discuss this further, you have my contact information. Dr. Anton Fibes or Fibs. So. Huh. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Joyce is already a super mom. It's like totally awkward. I am, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm the the, the I'm a, I'm a girl. Um, I'm the friend of uh, Chloe. But just <laughs> while she while Joyce is in the same room, I am uh, opening drawers and reading letters. <laughs> and I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> Good morning, Max. Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Yeah, let's go for more Chloe information. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. Chloe needs help. Who helps Chloe out when you guys are at work? We have a series of revolving nurses and caretakers. <laughs> Chloe still causes trouble even if she can't move. Max, <laughs> Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak and she... Respiratory system, okay. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. More about William? I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, we're lucky to have him. Will and still the same, Chloe and William. I'm going for the question. Is William still the same? After everything that's happened? For better and for worse. But always for the better. I I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. <laughs> Sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. And a little bit more about Joyce. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Little word, David Madsen. Eco Haver? So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. David Madsen? Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two whales. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. <laughs> A lot of work. Plus, you guys have to work too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. 
Yeah, we're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. So yeah, let's bring the morphine down. Except for something is happening randomly. Chloe, I got your morphine. Here it is. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. <laughs> of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Uh, she was looking to the right. Ah, so, oh, there it is. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating, too. So, let's bring that back to Chloe. And let me guess, now we're changing the... Going back in time again. Okay? Perfect. Oh my god, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> My dad would have banished me. Turn the page. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh, she is just saying you because she knows that she is uh, going to die too early. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Yep. I was thinking the same. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Over yes. She I wants do. to get an overdose with All morphine. You have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Mm. Oh. 
Oh, and now I got three options here. Th this is so mean. Accept, refuse, I don't know. But I'm going to be even meaner because we just um past 20 minutes of this video so thanks for watching guys i know i'm a big asshole here now but yeah see you in the next part where i'm going to make my decision bye bye guys